<laughs> Let's fly it like you stole it, baby. So yes, this is how I go to fly RC airplanes these days on my Duotark 13X. My little Asian flying fish is here, but mainly I'm here to test the Hewing T1 Ranger. And you can see, because the backpack had my flying fish, I had to just tuck it in my 3D printed basket on my electric scooter. And now I just have to plug the wings in and I'll start flying after installing the batteries. So let's get to it. It's a little windy, but hey, it's fun to fly foamies when it's windy. And I just noticed, if you keep it nose heavy, it will stall very quick. And even with the 3S battery, look at that speed, man. Okay, what's happening? Stalled it and came out of the stall and it's just going. Something happened. So you had question, how many planes have you lost in this? I would say in this drink, we have lost a couple of planes. So now I have to go to the marina and try to get the plane back. I'm at the marina now and my friend here is going on his sea do to bring the Hewing T1 Ranger. Okay, let's go back to RC airport. Well, looky, looky, what do you know? This is still alive. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Shamal here. Welcome outdoors at RC airport, one of the world's most dangerous RC airports. And it's slightly windy today, but I'm happy that it's nice, bright and sunny. Ah, thank you, God. After a long time, I got such a nice, bright sun on my face and warming my back. So, Hewing T1 Ranger is gonna go in the air today and we're gonna see how it flies, how it performs, given that now there are slight winds. Well, actually, just now I met an RC pilot who was flying nitro airplanes and he complained the winds are bigger. And I was like, they will fly, no problem. So, so he wing T1 Ranger is ready. Let me put in the batteries. I'm using five blade uh, Gemfan, uh, I believe three inch blades. And they should be okay for 3S and 4S all together. With the landing gear, let's see how it takes off. There is no um, stabilization system in here at the moment. Heaving representative said that there is differential thrust. It's not like you when you plug in everything to your receiver, the differential thrust is already programmed. Uh-uh, no, no. You have to program differential thrust all by yourself. So I programmed it on my Radio Master TX16S and I'm gonna show it to you after this video how to program the differential thrust on this one and how to make it you know, docile or agile on differential thrust. Let's hope everything works. Let's give it a flight and see how it goes. So putting it together is basically very, very simple. And that is why I simply like this design, man. For the wings, I mean, just have to let the spar go through, push the wings in. Hear that click, and you're good to go. Welcome back, Ali Shan Mel. Fly it like you stole it. Have fun. I like it, man. I mean, it's really very easy to check CG, but where do you hold? here, here, or in the middle. So I'm just gonna hold in the middle. You turn me on. Differential thrust on. Oh, look at that. I mean, look at that. I can taxi because of the differential thrust. So the wind seems like coming from the left. I'm just gonna take off this way. Turn off the differential thrust first. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A little bit like kind of under power feeling on 3S. You turn me on. So I turn on the differential thrust. And I have to cut down 
on differential thrust percentage a little bit oh man it's already very fast on 3s and despite of all these wings is actually flying very well let me just land and put the battery slightly more forward because it seems like it's a little nose heavy oh sorry tail heavy three minutes okay well the landing this gear actually oh. took the beating uh oh my glue came off ah, now it's gonna be trouble it's like already want to take off so here we go bismillahirrahmanirrahim Okay, now it's much better, but it's climbing really fast. Yeah, much better control now. Turns are good. You know, the, the rudder, I mean the vertical fin actually bothers a lot it actually tries to keep the plane you know turning into the winds where the winds are slapping it so that is one thing and that's where you must have differential thrust if you want to keep it flying straight like here if i try to go straight it turns turns to the left and I have to give right differential thrust to keep it in the air straight. Flies very well and five blade propellers are pretty quiet. And I just noticed if you keep it nose heavy it will stall very quick and using differential thrust you can stall it very quick apart from that flying okay i'm kind of out of uh, practice flying planes line of sight but i can tell you that in this wind it's actually doing very well and even with the 3s battery look at that speed man Two minutes. it's actually pretty fast on 3s we look at that even on 3s it's pretty fast if i put 4s inside this thing is gonna rip some serious speeds okay touch and go I was trying to land actually because it's oh oh more throttle more throttle so when the wind is coming from back it actually goes like you know in a way that it was climbing up very straight smooth landing was climbing up straight and kind of like doing alpha so wind does affect it it's it's very lightweight and wind does affect it however i've also flown ishin flying fish which i'm gonna fly now as well it doesn't actually performs or behaves this way anyway let's just check everything once again before putting in a 4s okay and see how it goes okay four is in there and uh, winds are bigger let's hope i don't crash the beautiful baby and uh, let's give it a flight and see how it goes Engines are... okay pretty smooth takeoff Oh, 
picks up speed nice and good coming in slightly faster I wouldn't say it's big difference than 3S it's just slightly more stable due to the weight in these winds and slightly faster so I'm coming against the wind full throttle that was full throttle okay what's happening I stalled it and came out of the stall and it's just going something happened and it's just going into the river Seems like using 4S battery while spinning 5 blades propellers have put extra, way more extra load on ESCs than I expected. Though those are just 3 inch props but 5 blades. So what happened when I went full throttle it seems one of the ESCs probably burned and stopped working and that's why right here plane went into spinning because only one motor was working. I zeroed the throttle it came out of a stall and then because of only one motor working it was totally out of control I wasn't able to control it and fly it and it crashed into the big drink happily okay that's bad so you had question how many planes have you lost in this I would say in this drink we have lost a couple of planes so now I have to go to the marina and try to get the plane back okay Let's go for this uh, little adventure then. I'm at the marina now and my friend here is going on his sea do to bring the Heewing T1 Ranger as a rescue mission right there. Go baby! So later inshallah when uh, my friend's uh, jet ski is ready, it's uh, being repaired, once it's ready I'll come back here and do something but I'm thinking I should get my 3d printed electric airboat ready and I have fun you know, in the river wish I had enough cash to get one of these but hey if you do not have cash to get one of these you should have 3d printer so you can 3d print your own boats and put an you know motor on it and turn it into airboat I have to catch with that project so he found it he found it and he's coming back so here we are the plane is back okay got the plane back everything is wet water went all the way in I hope the electronics are still okay okay let's go back to RC airport and we can talk about the reasons for the crash oh where are you going man stay here so riding my electric scooter look at this slope and on dual motors this thing is like not even feeling anything climbing this so just sorry the camera is moving a lot just a little throttle and it just climbs up okay back at the RC airport I will let the electronics dry a little bit in this Sun so receiver is also opened now and it's gonna dry pretty quick it's actually already dried just the connectors have some water and I need to reconnect them later okay Let's fire it up and see what happens. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Well, looky, looky. What do you know? It's still alive. I probably have to dry the ESCs more and uh, hope the ESCs are okay. Otherwise, I have to change the ESCs and then come back for the flight again. Until then, thank you very much for watching the maiden flight crash of a heaving t1 ranger in the big drink and the rescue of heaving t1 ranger from the big drink i hope you enjoyed the video give it a big thumb up 
and stay subscribed to my channel hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you stay updated for all the upcoming uploads now it's hot i am fasting and i'm getting thirsty but i want to fly my ishin flying fish and do a little bit of fpv and see how it goes come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.